and welcome to my next smartwatch review. This is the Seiko Sting smartwatch. I'll give you a model number in a minute. But I'll show you what comes out of the box. And I ordered this with my own money, and by my own money, I mean your money, the money that you uh, generate through the revenue on this YouTube channel, just by clicking that like button or leaving a comment or sharing this with others that helps spread the word and that's uh, how I generate just a tad bit of revenue uh, here we have a nice looking rectangular shaped watch always make sure you peel off that protective cover on the face and there's usually one on the back too covering the sensors peel that guy off let me press the button here and see if it has any juice out of the box it does this is going to look pretty good on the wrist. This is supposed to be a blood glucose watch with laser treatment and electro shock therapy, if you can believe it. And that's why I chose this watch. It's the first one I've seen with this electro pulse therapy. It comes with a magnetic charging cable that is just snap on the back. And I'm going to be honest, right out of the box, I don't see the ports for a laser. Um, laser therapy on this watch even though the ad said it did so if it does not this one's going back because uh it would be a false claim and just to show you the listing on aliexpress when i purchased this this is a link directly uh, from my order it very clearly describes the watch and says men's laser treatment uh health watch it sold for about 84 bucks and now they sell a cheaper version of this without the laser therapy for about $43. So it's unlikely it was just a typo. They knew what they were doing. They were misleading and try to charge, trying to charge um, you know, an extra 40 bucks. Clearly says laser treatment. I went back to them and said, look, this was misleading. It did not lead up to the claims. They said I could return the watch for a refund. Obviously, I'm not going to ship it back to China and deal with all the customs paperwork. So I'm going to chalk this one up to I spent my money to save you your money. Um, and when I purchased this watch, one of these thumbnails here actually showed and said laser treatment. And they've since changed that. So um, maybe my feedback made them uh, get a little bit more honest here. But I would never buy anything from the Seiko Sting health watch store ever again. And I would advise you, don't do it either. But let's see what uh, they tell us in English here. Heart rate, pulse magnetic moxibustion. We'll talk about that in the next segment. I uh, did a little research uh, of that in the meantime. Blood oxygen saturation, ECG, blood sugar, blood pressure, body temp, sleep. I don't see any laser therapy, so I think this is a case of false advertising. I'm going to go charge this up. Uh, to its full capacity, wear it for several days, and then come back with my full, fair, and honest review. Let's take a look at the watch here. It's got that rectangular shape, with that familiar-looking button on the upper right, and it's got another button here to do the EKG measurement. Let's press that and make it come to life. If we swipe down, we can adjust the brightness of the screen. I'll turn that up all the way. You've got some other settings here. You can change your me uh, menu style. You can get it the inf information. Again, model TK11P. Uh, let's go back to the start and go through these screens. I like this watch face the best, so obviously that's the one I'm uh, using. We swipe from right to left. You get your, uh, your heart rate, your estimated kilocalorie burn for the day and your steps for the day and you can do your heart rate it does continuous heart rate EMP let's talk about electrotherapy pulse electrotherapy for a minute here this watch this is a brand new feature I've never seen this this in a smartwatch before interesting they claim you can put it into different modes for weight loss fat reduction decompression massage comfort relaxation therapy integrated um let me just let's let's put it on therapy and see what happens and then you can set the time how long it's going to actually apply the current to your skin and then you can choose your force from one to nine i'm a bit of a i like the pain so let's turn it all the way up i wish it went to 11 but it doesn't it only goes to nine so it's one less the other way click ok and i'm going to do start and now it's going to count down and it's going to apply a little bit of a charge to my wrist it's just 
going to apply a little a little bit of current now these are low frequency pulses it's uh, it's trying to emulate pulse magnetic moxibustion and in uh, traditional Chinese medicine to do moxibustion is to take something uh, called mugwort it's a little bit of a plant and it's usually a complement to acupuncture they took a take a little bit of this ground up mugwort put it on the end of a acupuncture needle that's in your body and then they burn the mugwort and that heat is supposed to transfer through the needle into your skin and provide some sort of analgesic effect if you believe that um more power to you i think it's a bunch of hoo-ha um i don't believe believe it at all i don't put any stock into it but i thought you know, hey, since this is a new feature, it's something new to bring to you, I'll show you what it does. And um, there it is, it did its thing. I actually didn't feel anything right there. Um, so that's the uh, electro uh, pulse electrotherapy. It will do continuous heart rate if you want. It will do your EKG, ECG. This works just fine, I've tested it. Blood oxygen saturation or SpO2, it does this just fine. I find it to be in line with every other uh, SpO2 measurement I've ever done. Blood glucose monitoring, I don't believe any of these smartwatches, these non-invasive smartwatches, I don't believe any of them are accurate for blood glucose monitoring. So I'm not even going to draw blood on this review. We're just going to look at the app and I'm going to prove to you why you shouldn't trust it and show you why I don't trust it. It will do blood pressure. I find this credible, possibly a little bit low based on everything I know. There's a screen here for pressure. This is misleading. It has nothing to do with like air pressure or barometric pressure. It just means your stress level. It shows you your stress level throughout the day and it'll do some sleep tracking. I don't find this to be very credible either. Uh, you can control your music from your smartphone when connected via Bluetooth and then you get back to the beginning here. Scroll up and you can get your text messages when tethered with your phone via Bluetooth. It works. Here's a test uh, measure uh, message I sent to myself. It works just fine. I'll trash that. Um, if we press this button a second time you can get into your workout mode. It's got running, walking, cycling, uh, breath training, uh, high intensity Interval training, planking, rope skipping, yoga, climbing, hiking, spin biking, rowing, stepper, you, you get the drift here. There's a bunch of sports modes, but not a lot. So, you know, I, I don't find anything that covers workouts in the gym. Here are your sports uh, records. These are the exercises I've done while wearing this watch. This was a hike I did uh, after work today. Um, here's a gym uh, workout I did yesterday and one from a couple days prior. All it does is give you the duration engaged in that uh, workout, an estimate of kilocalorie burn, and your average heart rate. That's it. That's all you get from all of these exercise modes. Uh, your step count, your sleep, SpO2, EMP, that's uh, that electrotherapy, heart rate, ECG, blood pressure, blood glucose, uh, uh, stress again you can change your watch faces there's a bunch in here and there's a lot more in the app um, clearly you're seeing the one that I like the best so that's about it there that's that's all your choices let's go into the app and then I'll come back with my uh, final uh, thoughts the app here is something called deep fit it's pretty basic it will give you your step count for the day the amount of sleep you got uh, it will do your heart rate, continuous heart rate, and you can change the increments on how often you want it to measure. There's that hike I did after work, so it makes sense that my heart rate was elevated. It will give you your highest, your lowest, and your average. Uh, let's go back. Okay, uh, here's your blood pressure. I've done a number of measurements, and you can set these up to do automatically as well. My lowest was 114 over 74. I find that to be too low. Average 119 over 79. I think that's within the ballpark. The latest 120 over 80. Yeah, that's that's what I'm used to seeing. Uh, SpO2, blood oxygen saturation, and it will. You can automatically take these measurements throughout the day. ECG, EKG. I've only done one of these, and it was a few days back, uh, but it did a pretty credible job. Let me go back and find it. There it is. That's the measurement I did. 
and uh, you know it'll give you some data you can see your EKG your test time um, and, and it will give you some indications as to whether it's in the normal range or not that's all good that all works temperature interestingly enough this does a credible job in the app but I used to have a temperature uh, screen on the watch which was in centigrade which was weird even though I had the temperature set in the app on in Fahrenheit but that temperature screen seems to have disappeared into the ether somehow it's just gone so it's not even there anymore so that's glitchy um, I think most people are here to see if it does a credible job doing blood glucose monitoring and I'm not gonna jab my finger to compare results this is complete and utter nonsense this is just giving you a blood glucose spike due to some algorithm where it thinks you're eating meals now I skipped breakfast this morning and yes I've had people explain to me you know there's the dawn effect where when you wake up uh, you're you're just gonna your body will create its own blood sugar okay I, I could buy that okay I have a cup of black coffee yeah I get it that could spike that but I did eat lunch and I've skipped dinner here I haven't eaten dinner yet so there is no reason to have uh, just look at the amplitude of these folks the middle one was a full meal the first one was a couple black cups of coffee after waking up and the last one is a non-existent meal that I haven't even eaten this is fake this is just absolutely fake at the very least these should not be of the same amplitude a cup of coffee should not be the same amplitude as a lunch spike and not eating anything at all should not be the same as a lunch spike so um, I don't trust non-invasive uh, smart watches for, for blood glucose monitoring and I don't think you should either I think this is it's just all fake and these peaks just kind of line up day after day in the same spot same time and like I said I skip meals I eat, eat different amounts um, j this just tells me there's no credibility to these w whatsoever so I'm not even going to jab my finger and yes you can put it into a mode where you try to calibrate it but in my opinion if you punch in your known uh, fasted glucose level all it does is take your data input and somehow insert it into this fake graph that it generates to try to give you data that you want to believe so don't trust it I think it's complete and utter nonsense I'll go one step further and say you should absolutely avoid it you can get the same feature set in watches that are much cheaper um, you know they had misleading advertising in my case where they said it would do a laser therapy and it does not and I ch paid a premium for it but hey I'm a little bit happy I'm able to bring this electrotherapy to you to show you what it is and what it does and how it works you form your own opinion as to whether you put in any, any stock into this or not so I don't want to be a a hypocrite because I do believe in TENS devices where you attach electrodes to your skin and you could put pulses in to get some muscle relief and whatnot I believe in that but these little shocks small shocks from a smartwatch on your wrist do I think they're gonna help you lose weight or whatever else those other modes were absolutely not I think it's nonsense um, so there you go it's the TK 11 P watch beautiful looking I like the form factor, but I do not recommend it. In fact, I recommend you stay away from it. There you go. Uh, this channel is primarily about kayaking and health and fitness. I tend to review anything health and fitness related. I, I like to try to get my hands on new technologies, especially in smartwatches, to bring it to you. Um, you know, check me out at DaveTheKayaker.com. Check out my fitness tracker and smartwatch review playlist on YouTube. And until next time, be healthy, stay safe. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's go back to sleep for one second. I think the sleep tracking is terrible. Um, this is my sleep last night. I, this is okay, maybe, maybe close. All right, the day before, it told me I got no sleep at all, which is nonsense. I got a pretty decent night's sleep, but it didn't record anything at all. The night before, it tracked two hours and 46 minutes, which was, which was completely wrong. Um, I got a lot more sleep than that. So I don't, I don't trust the sleep tracking either. So uh, for these reasons, don't trust the watch. Uh, until next time, stay healthy, be fit, and check me out at DaveTheKayaker.com. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak, 
made in the finest American tradition. Or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history. You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak, now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. West Side Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.